Do you use a laptop or a mobile phone? Well, it has lithium in it. Not just that, your air conditioners and refrigerators also contain lithium. It would be safe to say that it is a metal that powers our lives. A versatile metal, lithium, is used in electric vehicles, smartphones, laptops, aerospace alloys, air conditioning, refrigeration units and much more. Apart from this, lithium is also used in certain medications to treat bipolar disorder and other mental health conditions. Lithium has been a central player in the development and production of renewable energy technology. But did you know that recently India has made a significant discovery of lithium in Jammu and Kashmir? And this discovery has generated a lot of excitement among investors and mining companies. But it's crucial to look beyond this one discovery and consider the larger picture. In the long run, the reserves might be a game changer for the nation. But if we look at the global scenario, then it may take at least 10 years to start mining effectively. So why does India need to look beyond this big discovery? Currently, China dominates the market of lithium refining. To compete with it, the nation must advance up the value chain and build lithium refining facilities for both itself and rest of the globe. For this, India needs to develop a workable lithium supply strategy for both the short and long term. Has India hit the lithium jackpot? In 1999, the Indian Geological Survey announced that Jammu and Kashmir might have lithium reserves. After more than two decades, we discovered approximately 5.9 million tons of lithium. But a lot more research is needed to determine the amount of lithium that can be extracted. Now, digging up the buried lithium and putting it inside batteries that can power your autos and two-wheelers could take several years. As a result, the nation, like the rest of the world, requires a workable long-term strategy to mine and refine lithium. How can India reduce its dependence on China? While China only produces little more than 10% of the world's total raw lithium, it dominates the industry by controlling 60% of the world's lithium chemical processing. India is one of the biggest importers of lithium batteries, purchasing almost all of its supplies from China. To reduce its dependence on China, India needs to develop a two-pronged strategy. Firstly, India must enter the refining industry and get involved in the process of the lithium supply chain. Secondly, it should encourage the private sector to explore and mine lithium. How can India move up the lithium value chain? We all know that India showed tremendous success with the COVID vaccinations. Serum Institute, one of the nation's homegrown businesses, created vaccines for India and for the rest of the world. India needs to investigate this formula for lithium as well. Many Western countries predict that China could exploit its lithium resources as a strategic weapon and give preferences to its own industries. In such a case, it is essential for refining hubs to emerge in other parts of the world. Australia and Germany are already working to establish processing facilities. To preserve its long-term interests, India must get proactive. It should establish partnerships with other nations to have access to technical knowledge. India must encourage the private sector to engage in the mining and refining of lithium both domestically and overseas. India's PSUs are currently looking for lithium assets abroad. The Ministry of Mines has established a joint venture between NALCO, HCL and MECL known as Khanij Bidesh India Limited or Kabil. Kabil and the Australian government signed a contract in March 2022 to look for and purchase lithium and cobalt mineral asset together. India needs to diversify and explore ways in which lithium can help in building a strong and sustainable future.